Hey guys, this video is brought to you by RVs of America. Thanks for checking us out. Today we'll be featuring a 2004 Fleetwood Jamboree. This vehicle is 30 feet long and it has 30,000 miles on it, sleeps up to eight people. As we take a quick look at the back of the RV, you can see we have a ladder for roof access. We also have right above the bumper, there's a small backup camera and we have a rear hitch receiver for towing. And on the side, we have a cool little feature here. There's a compartment with an outside stereo. CD player, USB port. It's a nice little entertainment center that slides out. The paint on this vehicle is very clean. There's just tons of storage all around. This has an electronic double entry step that opens up whenever the door is opened. And as we look around the front, this is a Ford E450 model and we'll come around the side here. You can see where the main slide is and the awning that comes over to keep water and the weather out. And we have our water hookups. We have our generator. It's an Onan 4,000 watt generator. And we'll come back around. Here's a look at the main slide as it's coming out. This is sped up a little bit, but there you see it. Very nice, very large, really makes the interior open up with that out. Here we are now coming inside of this jamboree. Um, right here under this step, this actually comes up and this is where the batteries actually compartment is. But here, I'm gonna take you inside now. Here we are inside, um, as you can see this is a big, very, very large slide, um, and this, so this is going to sleep quite a bit of people, you're going to have this booth is going to turn into a bed, this couch will turn into a bed, and then also you have the queen size bed over the cab, so good amount of sleeping, six people, you have these nice chairs here throw somebody out on the floor if you had an extra kid or visitor. I don't know if you noticed this has plastic on the floor and this stuff kind of looks like some weird color disfiguration. It's not. That's just the plastic. Just wanted to make a note of that. This is really cool. I don't know if you've seen these in the past, these boots. Sometimes you actually have to lift up this cushion to get to the storage under here. This is really cool is what they've done here is they've made nice little cupboards doors, I mean, so you can actually get into it really easily, which is really cool. Nice access. Um, over here you have, you can see the really nice, really nice, really large and spacious feeling in here. Here you have the nice chairs right here. Let me show you um, this. Actually, I'm going to make this thing come up. It's a, it's a, table so here let me use some magic to make this come up one two three come up Ta -da! there you go you got this so nice really nice here is because you have some extra eating area and then over here you can have other people eating over here something that I really like about this is you have like kind of the ability to hang out and socialize from you know across from each other from the table here you have the TV. This is really cool It's because it's actually on a swivel mechanism. So this TV will actually swivel. Let me show you this. It swivels over so while you're driving, the kids can sit up here and um, watch TV on the bed. You have some nice little things up here where you could put magazines or store some stuff. Another nice thing that I really like about this is lots of people like that window. Um, and if you've watched any of our other videos before, I'll, I probably am very adamant about how those windows are very leaky prone. Everybody that has some complaints, because as you're driving, just those sills go bad, the wind's hitting them, and water always ends up leaking. You can see in here lots of, lots of nice storage throughout. Um, here we have this kitchen, and this is a little lift. Actually, let me, let me use some magic to open this. 
little thing up, okay? One, two, three, open. Ta-da! If you guys come down to Arby's of America, I'll show you some magic too. I'll teach you some free magic tricks. Here you have over here, this is your um, gauges. You, see, you can see you click here and it shows empty. You have your gray, your black, your propane, your batteries, your main batteries, your auxiliary batteries. This is at your slide out control. Here you have your generator. Really nice unit here. Um, this you can press back to prime it. And you have about, let's see how many hours is on this one. 325 hours. They're not too bad. Those Onins are made by Cummins. Really good generator. I always tell people sometimes you, you gotta worry if there's not very many hours on them at all. It's because the more you run them, <laughs> the better they are. You know, when you let them sit, they actually have a lot of problems. So, right here, I recommend you actually get out and start them up every once in a while. Here you have the kitchen right here really good shape I always say when you're looking at a used unit look at the burners if they're caked in black grease you know this thing was abused look at that still silver really good shape and actually I'll show you this this you won't see that often but check this out I noticed this when I walked into it first time look at so nice they never even removed the plastic how about that <laughs> stuff let me show you I'm gonna take you into the bathroom this this unit is equipped with central air um, and you're gonna have your let's focus in there you're gonna have your your heat forced heat it's gonna go through the vents through the floor your central air is in these vents and they go throughout the entire unit um, and this bathroom is ginormous you could dance in this bathroom if you needed to Right here, this is really nice. They've had this as a built-in, you know, nice little extra. These jamborees are really nice units. Nice, nice and light in here. You have a window behind the toilet. Nice big shower. Let me actually open up the shower really quick. Okay, Abra cut Dabra open. My magic never ceases to amaze me, actually. So there we go. Got some magic. Here we are. This is actually really cool, this backsplash. I, can't, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it actually looks like it's marble. It has kind of like a marble finish to it. It's really cool. Some little soap holders, towel, whatever you want to put up there. Really nice. They've really a nice seat um, for the ladies if they want to sit and shave or whatever you want to do with that. This is actually a tub. This is about a maybe a 10. 12 inch tub so for the kids if you need to give them a bath really nice this is a really really large large shower very high ceiling so I, I stand about six feet and from these ceilings I can reach up actually you can see in the mirror kind of see how much space I have here Almost probably about a foot so and you can be lots and lots of space in here lots and lots of storage let me show you this this storage, this door open again. Um, one, two, three, abracadabra. There we go. Got some sanitizer, some little goodies that comes with it. They've opened the shelves here. Now over here you can see lots of covered space with mirrors to make it feel open. Put a little trash can down in that little one, drawers. Now let me actually open these mirrors too and show you the inside some extra storage. Okay, let's use my magic again. One, two, three, open. There we go. Whoa, this one, this one's not staying open. My magic's failing me. Sorry, you guys. Okay, here we are. Hanging up some clothes. Some nice little drawers here. So, now let me take you out. Oh, this is a nice little option on the back of the door, is towel rack. You always think like, oh, that, that's so obvious. Of course you should have a towel rack. Even on the shower door here, you have a towel rack. But you'd be so surprised how many motorhomes, trailers I get come into, and there is nowhere to put up a towel. It's crazy. It's like, who, who made this? 
must be somebody that doesn't shower or something. I don't know. Anyways, let me show you the main room again. Here we are coming in here into the main area again. You can just see this is really spacious. I forgot to show you this. Another nice closet, wardrobe area. Um, you can take these shelves out and have a hanger for clothing. It has a lot of good storage, lots of good storage outside too. Um, anyways, very spacious. Feels, feels like a little home on wheels. Now let me show you the cab area. Um, but I'm gonna use magic to see what's behind the curtain. Let's see what's behind the curtain. Ooh, there we go. What is behind the curtain? Oh, just two seats and the driving. Navigation system. Here we are right here. This is actually really nice. Let me, let me see if I can get closer here. Focus. Here you have navigation, ice cold AC. Feels great. Cruise control. This is some like leather pleather um, with the type of suede material, which is nice, so you don't sweat too much. Power mirrors, power windows here. Power mirrors. Over here you have 30,491 miles, so really low miles. Really, really nice unit here. And here you have navigation. And this AC works great. We actually, you probably saw some of the footage coming back from Idaho where we got it from. And it drove great, drove great at high speeds and that navigation map worked and the AC was ice cold the whole time, so. But thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And um, once again, like we said earlier, um, our website is www.rvsofamerica.com. You can come visit us at American Fork, Utah, 970 East State Road in American Fork, Utah. You can call us at 801-860-0035. We'd love to earn your business for life. Thanks so much for watching this video and have a wonderful day.